We set aside a few minutes on Sunday mornings to identify connections between unfulfilled Bible prophecy and the news and events in the world. Turmoil in the Middle East on account of the nation of Israel is the most obvious sign that we are in the last days. Israel's existence again as a nation, both a miracle and a fulfillment of many Old Testament prophecies. Other biblical signs that we look for include the push towards global government and global commerce, technology to utilize biometrics to buy and sell all goods and services, instantaneous global communication, an effort to alter human genetics, a great falling away from faith in Jesus Christ, and the exponential growth of human knowledge. All of these things are spoken of in different ways in the scripture as being characteristic of the last days and especially the time of the great tribulation. Daniel, Ezekiel, other Old Testament prophets predicted that there will be a Jewish temple on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem during the future Great Tribulation. Jesus confirmed that this was true in his prophecy talk with his disciples in Matthew 24. He um, referenced Daniel's talking about the temple and clearly believed that there would be one. Jews have been planning for their next temple for decades. This week, I read an article titled, Historic Ark Replica Makes Its Jerusalem Debut During Sukkot Festival. Uh, The excerpts, in a remarkable fusion of ancient tradition and modern craftsmanship, a meticulously constructed replica of the biblical Ark of the Covenant was showcased in Jerusalem. The display featured the golden vessel housing a Holocaust surviving Torah scroll from Thessaloniki, Greece. The ambitious project, spanning three and a half years, involved 17 volunteers across multiple countries who adhere to strictly Torah specifications. The replica's construction required approximately three tons of Egyptian acacia wood and was adorned with high purity gold measuring 23.75 carats, the same grade used in ancient Egyptian royal artifacts. The replica has already been Uh, traveling to several significant locations, including Shiloh, the ancient site of the tabernacle, and made an appearance at Mar-a-Lago in Florida. It's true. Do you know, just throw this out there, do you know Donald Trump is the only U.S. president that's ever been to the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem? Pretty interesting. The Bible predicts a tribulation temple. The Temple Institute and others are preparing for it just as you'd expect. Now, on the other hand, the last thing you would expect really is a Jewish temple on the Temple Mount because that mount is, you know, owned and operated, let's say, by uh, Muslim countries. And any talk of anything on that mount gets people into trouble. Uh, And so the idea that the Jews would actually build a temple there, it seems ludicrous. Nevertheless, the Bible says it's going to happen, and these secular Jews have been preparing for years, and now they've got their own version of the Ark of the Covenant, uh, you know, and they're ready to go. Jesus promised to resurrect and rapture the church prior to his second coming and before the great tribulation happens on the earth. He's going to come and raise the dead in Christ and then rapture living believers Uh, It says, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, and then we will all be caught up to be with the Lord, safe for that last seven-year period as he turns his attention again to the Jews uh, and brings them all to salvation by the end of those seven years. The resurrection and rapture of the church is presented as imminent. That means it could happen any moment. Nothing has to happen before the Lord can come back for his church. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready and stay ready. Keep looking up, ready or not, Jesus is coming.